Hi guys, it's Megan from Mega Buck Savings. Today I'm going to share with you guys a Dollar Tree haul with health and beauty type items. I'm going to just share with you guys what I needed and what I, um, I guess, wanted for my home. And I went ahead and got these um, Pure All disinfectant wipes. There's actually only 10 wipes in here, but I thought that was a pretty good deal um, just for like a travel kind of on the go um, for your car or diaper bag or traveling or things like that. And then you can just wipe down the surface um, that you've used or that you've touched. And then I also got these sanitary wipes. They are just, I don't know if they're like the Dollar Tree brand name or what have you, but these are 70% alcohol. They're hand sanitizer wipes or hand sanitizer drops. So it's just in a little pack. And I thought this was really actually great. Um, it says it moisturizes and it's with vitamin E. So I'm kind of guessing it has that kind of fill me after, which I don't really care for, but I got these because, um, we're going to be having a graduation party here um, coming soon because my daughter is graduating high school and I thought it would be really good to grab these so when we do have people coming they can use these and sanitize and then just throw it out. So the idea for this graduation party is to make as much stuff um, touchless as possible even when it comes to like the pictures and the um, like table that we're doing, it's all just kind of look and no touch. And then for food wise, we're just going to have um, containers of food and so they have options to choose from and then throw it out obviously when they're done. And so the idea is to have these on hand and I might go back and grab probably like two or three more just so that there's different options for sanitizing. So when people get there, when, before or after people eat and things like that. So I got those, it's a 24 pack and that's pretty cool. And then I also got um, this 40 count of ibuprofen. I go to Dollar Tree if I don't find a good deal on ibuprofen or Tylenol. If I can't get it for decently priced, I'm super cheap when it comes to buying stuff like this. Um, but then I'll just go to the Dollar Tree and grab it because you can get a 40 count for a dollar. So the next item here that I got was, I'm gonna get the other, I'm gonna show you two of them. So I got the LA Colors Nail Diva Artificial Nail Tips. It's a 12 piece set and it's kind of this mauve color. My daughter is going to prom and her dress is similar to this color. And I thought this would be really cute. And then I also got super glue. So super glue says it works best for clean, non-porous surfaces. So you can use it on metal, wood, plastic, and for your nails. So the Dollar Tree has nail glue, but I suggest getting super glue if you want your press on nails to last a little bit longer. So I did get that. And then I also got for her prom as well, just a little whitening kit. I got two of those so she can spend the month or the next, the, um, not the month, <laughs> the month of the, um, prom and spend the few days beforehand doing her little whitening kit for pictures. So I got two of those. It's by the brand Reach, which is an old school brand. And uh, it says it's instant whitening pen and it works as quickly as one day. So I thought that this probably wouldn't be permanent. So that's why I thought it would be good to get a couple of them. That way she can do it a couple of days before um, that. And then I got this Polaroid tempered glass screen protector. It's for um, the iPhone 7, 8 plus. And so my kids have those phones and so I got that, which I thought was pretty cool because it's by the brand Polaroid. I got a thing of Carmex, 
I got um, a shoe eraser, which I'm sure this is probably just like a magic eraser. I got three of these soaps, which I don't have the other one here. Um, and what I do um, is just peel the front of this off and you can even peel the back of this off. It actually peels off right away. And I thought these would be um, good because I haven't replaced mine in a long time. And I also have like the bath and body soap ones, the foam ones. And I feel like when they get towards the end that they just start falling off, um, not falling off, but falling over when you um, get towards the end of the soap dispenser, which I don't really find beneficial um, usage. And I just really like things to be as functional as possible. But see, you can just peel this front label right off. And then we'll certainly just use this soap when it goes out, we'll replace it with soap. And all I do is just use normal soap, hand soap and fill it up here, like towards the bottom and then just fill the rest with water and then give it a good shake. And I usually just fill it up with warm water. That way when the um, warm water gets in contact with the soap that it just kind of, when you're shaking it up, it kind of gets that foamy soap. So yeah. And then I thought it would be kind of cool to spray paint these tops black and kind of give it a more, you know, high end kind of feel. And so anyway, I got three of those for the bathrooms and these are really big. They are a 16.9 fluid ounce. And again, they're the foaming dispensers. And you can also use these foaming dispensers if you want to do your own DIY like mason jar soap dispenser. Um, um, I've done that in a previous um, project that I've done before. I've never shared that on YouTube, but I guess if you guys want to see that, um, give the, um, a comment below and ask for that for a future YouTube video. So then I got these exfoliating facial mitts and I thought this would be good just for like a good face scrub and I got two of those. I got these little makeup blender sponges. Um, my daughter and I go through these quite a bit, but I thought these would be kind of cute for like a little Easter basket stocking stuffer because it comes in the um, little container and you can wash it out obviously. But then there's a cute little mirror on there as well. I got the Maybelline New York Color Jolt Lip Paint in Berry Naughty and it is a 6.4 or a 0.21 fluid ounce and it's supposed to be a more of a glossy kind of amp up your lip and so I thought I'd get that to see if my daughter would like that for her prom night and to see if she would like that color with her dress so I got that because this is supposed to um, last fairly it says I guess it just says the paint delivers eight times more so I don't know if this will be a long lasting but it would just be really good to try to see how long it does last then I found another wet and wild which I have quite a bit of wet and wild makeup um, from the Dollar Tree and more often than not I do like to coupon um, when it comes to makeup, but to find this at the Dollar Tree, I found that was really great because I mean, of course, when you coupon, you can find things, um, especially makeup, you can get it for a dollar or less, um, sometimes free, <laughs> depending on how advanced you are with couponing. But, um, it's really hard to coupon with this whole COVID thing. So, um, because you really have to look for the deals and sometimes you have to go in the store and just sit in there and kind of look at things. Um, so just to go in the Dollar Tree and find this really quickly, um, I thought that was a really good deal. And this is the foundation. It's Photo Focus and it's in the color Nude Ivory. It's just for light tone skin. And so I did get that. And then just for painting nails and things like that, I picked up the um, Luxurious Nail Polish Remover. It is non-acetone and it's... Um, like a little pump dispenser, which I've been meaning to find these, um, actually not meaning to find these. I've been wanting to find these 
Um, and I've just not been able to find them on my Dollar Trees. And when I did um, find them, it was the empty containers that you just fill up. So to find this one full and then to buy that for a dollar rather than an empty one for a dollar, I wanted to find this so it was more bang for my buck, I guess. That was just the way, the way my brain was processing when I was looking for this item. So I'm glad I found this because obviously you're getting um, some nail polish remover in there and then you're, you can use this for refill. So I did get that because we do paint our nails and then we just don't like to keep it on for very long because my daughter and I are both not very great polish wearers. So we just wear it for an occasion and then take it right off. And then I got these no touch key um, holders or keychain holders and you just put them on your keys and then of course you um, use this for door handles and then use this um, to grab you know um, the key holder so there's a picture there that shows what I'm talking about because sometimes I do not know what I'm talking about or my brain thinks faster than I can actually speak so anyways I got um, in a previous haul some cross earrings I got at the Dollar Tree they were one there was one pair in gold and then one pair in silver and I got both of those I kept the silver ones for myself and then gave the gold ones to my daughter and I gave those to her for Valentine's Day and then so I thought this would be cute to put in her in her Easter basket and so I am putting this 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 and this and this and this and this and her Easter basket she's older so I'm just kind of getting her things that she needs or wants um, rather than just a bunch of candy. So um, I did get these because I needed these and they're just the sawtooth hangers and you can get a bunch of little tools at the Dollar Tree. So I thought that was pretty cool to find that. And then um, I got three of these clear baskets, which I was really excited to find because in the past I've only been able to find like the color ones and I just wanted a clear basket or um, something that wasn't so stand out. So I didn't want white, I didn't want blue, green, any color specific. I just wanted a clear basket. So to find this at the Dollar Tree, I was really impressed. So I did get three of these and I um, thought about using these for like the gift of the Easter baskets um, for the kids and that way they can have um, a little organization thing in their closet and then I also picked up rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide I always um, pick up bleach hydro hydrogen peroxide and alcohol rubbing alcohol at the Dollar Tree because you can't get it for a buck anywhere else for the size count it is so I really find that to be a really great deal when it is on hand at the Dollar Tree and I actually have never been able to have an issue finding it. The only time I ever found an issue was when people were um, first finding out about COVID and people were buying out stuff in the stores. I think it was out on both one occasion and then out on one of the other of the occasion. I couldn't remember which one, but again, I always stack up on these when I go to the Dollar Tree because I, we go through them for cleaning. Um, the bathrooms and the kitchen and for clothes you can use this for stain removers um, for various things as well so I also use this for I just put a little bit of this mix it with a little bit of water and use this as a cleaning off our phones and thing keys like things that we just touch often in our home and door handles and things like that so that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I will have a Dollar Tree haul coming up next week. And if you wanna come back and watch it, I would be very happy that you did. So if you are new here, please subscribe. And if you aren't, thanks for coming back and watching. Regardless, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys watching this. And I am off to go cook dinner. All right, thanks for watching, bye.